Greetings and welcome to Your Inspirations. I'm Mary Beth Temple for Hooked for Life, and in this video, we're going to take a closer look at how to make the crochet loop stitch. Now, I'm using the instructions from the Loopy Llama Crochet Blanket, but this is a stitch that we use for all kinds of different projects, so let's take a closer look. Now, the loops appear on the right side of the work, so you're going to do your loop stitches when you are crocheting a wrong side row. So following along with the instructions, it says yarn over hook and insert hook in next stitch. Hold working yarn over top of left index finger and pull up to an inch or two and a half centimeters. Grab working yarn behind index finger and pull through the stitch. So I like to go over that front loop and I'm behind the index finger and I'm bringing that yarn in, taking it over the hook back to front as we so often do in crochet. Hold loop in position with right hand to front of work. Yarn over hook and draw through three loops on hook. Yarn over hook, draw through three. There's my loop and it's nice uh, It's nice and tight in there. It's not going to unravel or anything like that. Let's take a look at that one more time. Yarn over hook. Insert hook in next stitch. Hold working yarn over top of left index finger and pull up one inch or two and a half centimeter loop. Grab working yarn behind the index finger. So over the front loop and behind the index finger, bringing that yarn through, pull the loop with the right hand, yarn over, pull through all three. All right, one last time, we're gonna yarn over hook, insert the hook in the stitch, pull up that left index finger an inch or two and a half centimeters, give or take, to form the loop, yarn over behind the index finger by going over that front stitch, and yarning over, pull that through, move the loop from the left hand to the right hand, yarn over, pull through all three. Now you can really get a rhythm going once you get the hang of the stitch, so uh, you're not, it's not slow going, you're not going to have to sit there every minute and uh, figure out what you're doing. And let's take a closer look at the right side of the work one more time. So here's my loops. And you can see they're, uh, they're real sturdy in there, which is why we do all that uh, finagling with the hook to make sure that it goes where it belongs. And as you keep going, you build up more loops. So thank you so much for joining us here at Your Inspirations. I'm Mary Beth Temple for Hooked for Life. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for fresh content weekly on knitting, crocheting, and other yarny stuff. And we look forward to seeing you again here real, real soon. Bye-bye.